Festergut, from a tankyland perspective, is extremely straightforward. It's essentially like patchwork. You just stand in one spot and spam heal the tank for two thirds of the encounter. In this video, we have me, a disc priest, and a resto druid on raid. There are some various elements to the encounter, but honestly, none of them affected me. The boss does not cleave, so you can stand on top of the tank with no fear. We decided that if I, the tank healer, got a spore on me, I just continue to stand in place. So you get your cookies. I zoomed in on Healbot so that you could get a real good look at what's happening okay, to the health everybody. of the raid Smoke and the still there. Let's go ahead and go with it. I threw that smoke flare right there so that the ranged people would know where to gather for spore sharing. Smoke flares are great for raiding. During phase one, it's light tank healing mixed with raid healing. You can throw shields, palms, and prayer of healing if you have the mana to spare. Once you see the orange cloud get lighter and Festergut grow a little, you have now entered the tank spamming time. Continue spamming until the orange clouds come back to full strength. You can try to work in a shield on others or prayer mending to help with the raid healing. But really that's it, it's a basic gear check for everyone. This is heavy healing now. I'm gonna take. I'm in vomit mode. Come back. Violet taunt, cooldowns, bloodlust. We're about to come back to phase one with the orange cloud. And now I can switch to light tank healing and more intensive raid healing. Make sure you get some room between me. There you go. I'm back on the raid heals. Uh, I'm out for a second. Oh, my team. Okay, I'm back. Gonna be big kills on Violet. Pop your cooldowns. Should be good. Good job. Yeah. Good buster. Here's an overview of healing from World of Logs, as well as a breakdown by spell. 
Flash Heal had a 58% crit rating, which allowed Divine A just to help a lot in the mitigation.